Got a tummy? Well, I've got tips. Tips to help you hide that tummy, that is. Today, I am sharing so many tips to help you hide that tummy so that you look gorgeous. Welcome to today's video. I am so glad you're here. I am really excited about this video today, ladies, because you have been asking for this. And finally, I feel like I've done enough research, put enough thought into it, done a little practicing on myself to really get my ducks in a row so that I could offer you something of value. You've been asking me, how can I hide my midlife tummy? <laughs> And you know, really that's a subjective thing. I mean, some people might think they have a tummy and I go, what tummy? <laughs> and others of us have a bigger tummy. I, you know, it's all very subjective, but look, if you have something that you wanna hide in your midsection, I think I've got you covered today. Listen, my name is Kay. I am so glad that you've dropped in today. I blog at dressformyday.com and both here and there, my goal is simply to help ladies in our 50s and above get dressed for our, our day. I think we're all unique, we're all different, we're all at different stages in life at this point, but you know what? We still have something to show up for, we still have something to offer, and we want to put a little effort in and get dressed for our day so that we can show up in a big way. Let's get going with today's topic, and I'm really excited about this. And hey, before we get going on these tips, I want to make sure that you stay all the way through. As I was going through this before we started today, my husband reminded me that the tip I have to offer at the very end is the most important tip, and you need to hear it, so stay all the way with me. So my first tip is, y'all, I've said this a gazillion times, and I'm gonna keep saying it, we've got to wear clothes that fit. And by that, I mean that you don't want things too tight, right? Yikes! <laughs> Obviously, we don't wanna wear things too tight when, we've, when we're trying to hide some lumps and bulges, but we also don't wanna wear things too big. When we wear things that are too big, it does us, it does us no favors. It, it doesn't help at all. It doesn't make us look slimmer. It actually just makes us look bigger or like we're trying to hide something. So I really encourage you to think about what is it that fits. When, and when I say fit, I really mean that top, that dress, that jacket, it should skim the body. It, it shouldn't be binding, it shouldn't be tight. There should be no the lines and bulges, but it also should not like be hanging off of us, right? Like a tent. We want something to fit us. Now, the, the thing that I think most people do when they're trying to hide a tummy is they just wear like a big tent top, like a big top. <laughs> and that's okay, but let me tell you something. Instead of wearing just a big tent top, and I think some people even call them tent tops, <laughs> is maybe wear a tunic or another top that is long and that you can wear out and it can be a little flowy, but that it looks a little bit more modern. When we just wear a tent top, one, or you know, one of those this big circle top, it once again looks like we're trying to hide something and that kind of defeats the purpose. So a couple of weeks ago, I think it was, when I was sharing my travel capsule, I shared this brown blouse and it's a button up shirt from Athleta. So it's made of that nice stretchy fabric. This is a high quality shirt, ladies, but it is long and so you can wear it out like a tunic, but it just looks more modern than just that basic tent top. <laughs> it has the button up appeal. It, it's longer in the back than it is in the front. It just looks sharp. It's a deep chocolate brown, which is really trending this year. So it just looks more pulled together. So I think this is a better option. Now, likewise, several weeks ago, I, I don't know, a month or two ago, I shared this J. Jill peasant top. And so it's another option, sure. I mean, it's a top that just hangs out and it's got the flounces, it's got the gathers, so it does cover everything. But this top, I'm pretty sure is sold out by now. And honestly, I went shopping the last two weeks. I have been scouring them all, trying to find, you know, tops that I thought would like hide a tummy, but still look attractive. And you know what, ladies, there's just not a whole lot of them out there. I mean, you're gonna be better equipped to hide that midlife tummy with some of the tips that are coming. So yes, you can wear an oversized top, but my tip there, once again, is still to wear something that fits, that just skims the body, 
rather than hanging out there. And that way you just don't look so large. It just looks better that way. Now, let's move past those kind of usual things that we do to hide a tummy. And instead, let's talk about, just let's just go back to the basics here. The most basic thing that we can do to hide a tummy is guess what? It's to wear a good bra. If you will wear a bra that appropriately lifts and supports, you actually can take five to 10 pounds off of your overall appearance. It's amazing. Now what happens is I think is we at this age, we've kind of like, we're so tired of a bra, you know, we're just so tired of it. And I have some bras that just have elasticized straps and I love to wear those. But really, if you will purchase a bra that has the adjustable straps, there's a purpose for that adjustable strap. And that is, is that as you wear the bra and it begins to stretch out over time and with use and with washing and wearing, then you need to pull that strap up so that it lifts and supports again. Maybe it's time for you to have a good bra fitting and get a better bra. But meanwhile, I suggest you simply go to your lingerie drawer, pull out your bras and adjust those straps. Get those girls up. It will really help minimize your tummy. Now there are certain types of tops and dresses and everything that actually do look better and can I help, help conceal that tummy. And one of those is a top or a dress with some ruching. Ruching is simply that little bit of a gathering and there's all sorts of ways to do it. But you can see here, this is a dress I wore to a wedding recently and it's got that ruching across the tummy area. It's on a diagonal, which is even better. But that little bit of ruching, not only does it just somehow trick the eye into being more figure flattering, but it also really does conceal my tummy. So that's a great way to go. There's also here a top, a tee that I found at Loft. Now, I'm not sure if it's available anymore. They originally had them in white and black and this olive green, but I love this because it does have that little line of gathering right down the middle, but the shirt fits right in that it skims my body and that little bit of ruching really does conceal the tummy. Also, I can leave this top untucked, which is, I'm getting ahead of myself, another tip coming up. Another type of top or dress that does help conceal the tummy and really creates that pretty hourglass shape that you're after is an empire or ampere waistline, however you want to say that. But the problem with this is I have a hard time finding them once again. Now, here I'm showing you a top that I bought a couple of years ago, two or three years ago, in fact, from Bowdoin. I'm going to see if they have others like it still available, but I loved wearing this top because truly the gathering was right below the bust. The uh, rest of the top just kind of, you know, hangs so nice. It's got a nice drape. I didn't have to tuck this in. It worked beautifully over pants. So this is a great type of top to look for, or you can of course also find dresses with an empire waist. But you know what, it's just hard to find them. So rather than limiting yourself to an empire waist top or dress, let's move on to some other tips. Let's continue to talk about shifting the focus. Now that, that ruching and especially that diagonal line of that dress I showed you, it definitely shifts the focus. But another great way to camouflage a tummy is to shift the focus upward with some pretty jewelry. So don't forget to complete your outfit with a pretty necklace or even better, some great earrings. Now they don't have to be loud or colorful, but just some great earrings that add some light around your face and up around your eyes. That really is a tremendous way to shift the focus from your tummy up. Now, another part of your attire that you may not have thought about having an impact on your tummy is your sleeves. You see, when we wear a sleeve that has a lot of volume, it just adds more volume to the middle of us too. So if you will wear a top or a dress with a fitted sleeve, it actually gives you that space between your waist and your, your, your arms, and it creates that visual appearance of a more slender waistline. 
So look for sleeves that are fitted at least in the middle portion of the sleeve. They can have maybe a bell sleeve around the wrist or some puffing around the wrist. And also they can be puffed around the shoulder because that actually broadens your shoulders and slenderizes your waist. But just make sure the part around your elbows and that middle arm is nice and fitted to your arm because then that really creates that distance between your arm and your waist. Now, let's talk about wearing other tops because like I said, it's hard to find a lot of empire waist tops. It's hard to find a lot of tops that are full but still don't look like a tent. They look like they're made for you. So, and, and it's hard to find a lot of tops with ruching. So what do you do when you're just wearing a normal t-shirt or a normal sweater? Well, you don't tuck it. <laughs> so that would be my next tip is don't tuck it in because that's just gonna draw attention to your waistline. Now. Once again, this is all very subjective. If you just have a little bit of a tummy, like honestly I do, I have a little bit of a tummy and some days I have more tummy than others, like if I've overeaten the last day or two. So if you've got a little bit of a tummy going on and you just don't want to show that, then just don't tuck it in. Now, if you always feel like you have a tummy or you've got like a tire around your midsection and you just don't ever want to draw any focus there, then you need to be prepared to never tuck your shirt in. That means that you need to be very careful about the types of tops you buy. You need to determine the ideal length for your tops and stick with it. How are you gonna do that? Well, you're going to need to know your proportions and you're going to need to know your body shape. Fortunately for you, I've got a video about determining your body proportions, so I'll link you to that up here and also down in the description box below. So check out that video if you haven't done that already so you can know your proportions and learn all about that. And I've got a post at my blog about how to determine your body shape and how to dress that body shape. So once you determine your proportions and your body shape, you can determine what is the ideal length of top if you're gonna leave it untucked. Now for most of us, I would say, you're going to want that top to hit kind of between your belly button and your crotch, okay? You don't want real long tops because that's just gonna hug that belly. And you certainly don't want a top so high that as the day goes on and you move around, that top starts inching up and sits on top of your belly. <laughs> That's a no. So you're going to want to determine what is that ideal length that looks good, that looks flattering when you just wear it out. It's skimming the body. Remember, it's not hugging you. It's not hanging out like a tent. It's just kind of skimming the body. Figure out that length. Look for that length in tops. And if you find tops that you just love, but it's not that length, then you're going to need to be friends with a tailor who can help you achieve that correct length for your body shape and proportions. Now, once you've determined that top length and you're gonna leave it out, you're not gonna tuck it, you're not gonna belt it, then a great thing to do during the fall and winter is to add that top layer. So add a jacket, add a cardigan over this untucked top, and this is gonna do you a world of good. But there are still some things to keep in mind. You still want that top to be nicely fitted, and you don't want that jacket or cardigan to add a lot of bulk. So I would look for cardigans that have a really nice drape that maybe have a little heft to them so that they hang nicely. I have found that when a cardigan is too fluffy, right, it's lightweight, it's fluffy, then it just kind of pokes out <laughs> and you start looking kind of balloonish and we don't want that. We want something that really hangs nice, elongates and probably you're going to want your cardigans to be below hip length. You don't want the cardigan, the end of the cardigan, to hit around the belly, right? You're gonna want it to hang below that. But once again, we don't want that balloon effect. We want a nice long drape there. As far as jackets, I suggest that you look for jackets that have somewhat of a prince's silhouette to them. So they kind of come in and they shape you and everything. It doesn't always have to be extremely fitted. Now, I've got a, a blazer that is very fitted. That's a really nice touch over an untucked shell. But when I'm wearing this utility jacket, because you wanna wear utility jackets too, right? Not just really tailored things. 
I've chosen one that has this little draw cord inside that you can cinch the jacket up a little bit more, making it look a little bit more fitted. So it's not just blousing out and looking all big and manly on me. And underneath that, I'm wearing that ruched green tee and it just fits really close to my body. I've got on some dark denim jeans, that dark denim jeans and that green top, it creates that really long line of dark color there. And I've topped it with a lighter color jacket that's very slenderizing. Now, we've talked a lot about tops and dresses, but what about the pants? Because there's definitely some things you can do too about the types of pants you choose. First of all, my suggestion is to wear at least mid-rise jeans and pants, but preferably if your body proportions can handle it, I really suggest high-rise pants, high-rise jeans. Now, if you've been wearing a lot of mid-rise and low-rise pants and jeans, it may take some getting used to but I really encourage you to try it because that high rise pant can really suck that belly in and create that flat front, so ideal. I also suggest that maybe you're gonna to wanna to look for darker wash jeans and darker wash pants, like, you know, navies and blacks and not so much like, you know, white or ecru. And then there's some other things you can do. First of all, you can look for pants and even jeans with flat fronts. I have found these jeans from Soft Surroundings. These are a boot cut jean, but they also have just a straight leg jean with a flat front. They are so slenderizing. And you can see that there's no bulge there at the tummy because they truly have a flat front. There's no snap, no zipper, nothing. Now I also have some flat front Ponte knit pants from J. Jill. They do actually have a little pocket on them, but once again, no zipper front, no you know fly, nothing there. And so just that lack of hardware is really gonna help you out creating that leaner, flatter appearance there at the belly. Now, of course, you actually can even find pants that really suck you in. I know Spanx has some great pants, black pants, just great pants that are supposed to really suck you in. So that might be an op option too, and I will definitely link to those below. Just look for some pants so they have a flat front. Now, while we're talking about that front of the pants, I definitely suggest, because not all of your jeans are gonna have no zipper fly, no snap, I get that. But I do suggest that you stay away from jeans with a button fly, which means they have all buttons all the way up. Those just tend to add a lot of bulk at the tummy. I love them, they're very trendy. Just stay away from them if you got a belly. All right, now let's talk about those outer pieces. We've talked about you know, your tees, your tops, your dresses, your jeans. Let's talk about what comes after that. Because we're in fall and winter, you're adding another layer. When we add that extra layer, sometimes that can add bulk around the midsection, even all the way around, or especially right there in the tummy. You don't wanna do that. But sometimes we're gonna to want to add some, some heat, right? Some warmth. So I found a couple of vests here and I absolutely love these vests because they do elongate. They are not especially slenderizing, okay? So they don't do that, but they do offer that flat front. So you could cover up with a vest that has that looser bottom half to it so that it's just kind of hanging there. But once again, it's still a nice drape. It's a heavy drape. So it's not adding a lot of bulk and the lines are beautiful. I have created kind of a column of color really with this camel colored vest because I'm wearing a chambray shirt underneath and then I have on some blue jeans. So I've really created this column of color under that vest. This may not be for everybody, but I think it works. Now here's another vest I found from Loft. It's in a gray color and underneath it, I am wearing a white blouse and then I've got on jeans and these are a lighter wash, but I think this really works. Once again, just having that vest that hangs over, it kind of works like a tunic, right? But it's a lot more modern than just a big tent top. Ladies, it's just more modern. So that is gonna help you right there. Okay, what about just a pullover sweater? Well, when you wear a pullover sweater, because you're all gonna to wanna to do that, right? I do. So when we wear a pullover sweater and we're trying to minimize our tummy, once again, we wanna look for one that is fitted, that fits us nicely, but has that pretty drape in the front. Now, oversized sweaters though are in, and you absolutely can wear an oversized sweater, especially if 
you're not large all over. You just have a little bit of a tummy you're trying to hide. That's pretty much where I fall in, okay? So I'm not large all over. I just want to hide that tummy. So this particular sweater here that I'm showing really has a nice drape. So it, it still looks like it's skimming my body. It qualifies as an oversized sweater. It's got some bulk around, you know, under the arms and around the shoulders and all, but it drapes beautifully at the waist. So the key here on wearing an oversized sweater or a sweater that's not fitted is that you, once again, you want it to have that loose drape hang nicely, but you want it to have some heft so it doesn't puff up like a big marshmallow, <laughs> but instead it drapes your body nicely. Also, a dark color is certainly going to help, but you do not have to always wear dark colors. Now here's another tip for fall because you're going to see a lot of puffer jackets and puffer vests. The, the puffer vest and puffer jackets are really on trend. It's that Michelin man <laughs> you've seen on, on TV, those commercials. We don't want that, you know, that, that's on trend. But if we already feel like we have some heft around that area, we already feel like we're carrying a little more weight than we want to, we don't want to look like the Michelin Man. So there is an alternative and it's just as on trend and that is the quilted jacket or vest. These quilted jackets and vests are going to be much thinner, but they still give you that texture and that modern touch that the puffer vest and puffer jackets would. So you can see here, I've just added a puffer vest and it really creates a really trendy, on-trend look, but I have added a lot of bulk. Ladies, before you go, let me say one more thing. You know what? Life's too short for us to be consumed about hiding a tummy. One thing I have discovered is when I look at other women, I don't see a tummy. If, if they have a smile on their face, if they are radiating with joy and a positivity and they are being gracious and lovely, I don't notice their tummy. So a lot of times we just need to take our own focus off of our own tummy. <laughs> and think about other people and other things, do our best, dress our best, and put our, our best foot forward and go out with confidence. Do not go out into this day consumed with or concerned about your tummy. Let me tell you something. You are beautiful and you deserve to get dressed for this day and to get out there and participate. So I've offered these tips because you asked. But I really don't always obey these little rules or these tips myself because I like to get dressed for my day in a way that brings me joy and in clothes that just make me happy. And there's just absolutely nothing wrong with that. I hope you'll check the description box below for any links that I might have that I can offer you. I've got links to all those blog posts and videos I mentioned as well as some of the items that I've shown here in today's video. And thank you so much for being here. I hope you'll check out the blog at dressformyday.com. Follow me on Instagram. I would love that. And be sure and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. Thanks, and I'll see you again real soon.